good day to everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about the determination of the surface tension of any liquid using the drop weight method so this drop weight method is a very simple uh, however that it, perhaps it's a, a very accurate method to determining the surface tension of any liquid uh, just by considering the vertical forces that keep the small drop of a liquid is in equilibrium just before it gets attached, detached from the uh, end of the vertical glass tube of a surface in the circular aperture for example when you if you look uh, when you take a pipette or a purette and uh, uh, the the glass tube is actually filled with uh, liquid in which uh, we have to find out the surface tension and uh, suppose if your nozzle is actually open then the uh, the, uh, the the liquid is actually uh, dropping from this uh, small hole and it's actually first before dropping it it's actually uh, in a uh, accumulated in the end of this tube like a uh, sphere like a small sphere and once if the uh, sphere is actually large enough then it is actually uh, it detaches from this uh, glass tube so this liquid drop is actually having the particular weight so what you are going to do is we are going to collect uh, this uh, the number of uh, the water drops like uh, this uh, like this in a beaker and you are going to uh, take a weight of the each drop calculating the weight of the each drop and you are going to um, we will substitute this uh, weight into this formula so that we can easily find out the what is surface tension. So first we are going to see what is the theory behind this experiment. So we are going to consider one such drop which is actually accumulated in the end of the tube and before it is actually at the instant of the detachment of this drop from this liquid uh, uh, the liquid glass in the, 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 the glass tube it assumes have a uh, cylindrical shape cylindrical shape suppose uh, if it is actually attached with this glass tube it is actually having it is having the perfect uh, circular shape and once it is at, at the time of uh, detachment it is actually having a, a cylindrical shape at the orifice of this tube so that uh, we have suppose if you consider the sigma is the surface tension of this uh, liquid and uh, r is the radius of this uh, uh, the uh, liquid drop sorry the radius of this orifice then we have the we can easily calculate the excess pressure so the excess pressure inside the drop over the atmospheric pressure which is equal to sigma divided by r. Since we are considered uh, this uh, shape is a cylindrical when it is detached from this uh, uh, glass tube, we have considered this uh, excess pressure is actually taken as a sigma divided by r. Here, this r is the uh, radius of the orifice and sigma is the surface tension of the liquid. Uh, so, once this liquid uh, drop is actually detached, detached from this liquid, uh, I mean, uh, this uh, glass tube, it is actually uh, experiencing a downward force. Uh, with the downward thrust on the uh, the drop due to the uh, excess pressure so that uh, the downward force on the drop which is equal to uh, the 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 excess pressure into the area the excess pressure we already know this is a sigma divided by r into the area is actually taken as pi r square of the liquid so this is the downward force acting on this drop so there is another uh, additional force which is acting on this drop is due to the mass of this uh, I mean the weight of this drop suppose if you consider the weight of this drop is taken as uh, m into g and then the total downward force can be given as the total downward on the drop which can be given by uh, which can be given by this uh, downward force of the drop plus the the weight so that I can take this as uh, pi r squared into rho into r sigma into r plus m into g since this r and this r will get cancelled so that pi r sigma plus m g so this is the the total downward force acting on this drop so this total downward force is actually uh, balanced by the Another force that is due to the surface tension before this uh, liquid drop is detached from this uh, glass tube, so that uh, this uh, the, 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 that is that the surface tension uh, force is actually uh, keeping this uh, uh, liquid uh, sticking with this uh, liquid with the uh, the, uh, the glass tube, so that uh, the uh, 
the, the liquid touches the tube uh, all along the circumference is taken as a 2 pi r and hence the upward acting force due to the surface tension which is, is equal to the circumference into the, the surface tension. So it is clear that the, while the drop is actually at in, in the equilibrium immediately before its detachment from this tube, so that the uh, two sets of uh, forces acting, uh, I mean acting uh, in opposite direction, uh, but uh, the, uh, the due to this balance, so each forces of the total downward force as well as upward force will balance each other but in opposite direction so that I can equate these two equations, the way these two relations, these two forces, that means the, the upward force 2 pi r into sigma, which can be equal to the down, total downward force, that means the pi r into sigma plus m into g. And suppose if I take this pi r sigma in this uh, left hand side, I can get uh, r 2 pi r sigma minus pi r sigma, which is, is equal to m into g. So we can uh, this two under this will get cancelled so that uh, pi r sigma which is equal to mg or the sigma which is equal to m into g divided by pi into r. So this is the, the equation, the relation of this uh, uh, sigma which is equal to mg divided by pi into r. So by knowing this mass uh, m of this liquid drop, the, uh, the falling liquid drop on the radius of the uh, lower end of this tube we can easily calculate the, the surface tension value sigma uh, using this equation. So the actual experiment is carried out as follows. Uh, so, so suppose if you consider the, they take the burette and fitted this vertically in a shootable clamp and a uh, thin clean dry tube of glass is actually attached with this uh, uh, bu burette with the use of the rubber. So once uh, the burette is filled with the experimental liquid, and it's flow through a glass tube re, re, uh, regulated by a small pinch cos here. So you can see small, have a small valve here. So this valve is actually adjusted so that this liquid, as liquid is actually allowed to flow through from this small hole. So that a small drop of uh, liquid is actually formed uh, slowly near at the lower end of this burette. Uh, that uh, so the rate of detachment from the from it is actually being actually. Uh, Measured, for example, uh, the one drop per minute. Uh, then the the liquid actually drop from this burette is actually uh, received in a clean and dry, a clean and dry, and an uh, accurately weighted beaker. And the average mass, which is having the average mass of m. So before the experiment is performed, this weight of the beaker is actually uh, calculated. Then let us take this uh, weight of the beaker as s m one. And once the uh, uh, the liquid is actually formed in the uh, lower end of this tube and uh, uh, so the, the drop is actually collected in this beaker. So after collecting at most 50 to say, uh, 60 uh, drops from this beaker, uh, from this burette, the mass of the beaker along with the drop water, water is actually measured. Let us take this as a M2. So the difference between this M2 and M1 is giving the, the average mass of the drops determined by weighting the beaker again with its uh, with the liquid. The diameter of this uh, small orifice of the tube is actually uh, determined, which is taken as R. So this uh, radius is can be can be carefully measured using the traveling microscope. So once if we know this uh, mass and uh, the liquid drop, uh, means the radius of this uh, orifice, then we can easily substitute the values values in the equation. Sigma is equal to m into g divided by pi into R. So here we know this m from this uh, the average mass of the uh, liquid uh, from this uh, uh, experiment and r is also calculated using the traveling microscope that means uh, the radius of this. Uh, uh, as we indicated the, before this method is actually uh, which far accurate than the other uh, method but also yeah, a simple experiment to find the surface tension of the any liquid. So one more thing which we have considered is suppose uh, so the liquid drop is actually detached from this uh, uh, the end of this glass tube under some uh, uh, some ideal conditions. The radius of the snake of the drop as well as the, the amount of the fluid, I mean, amount of the liquid is actually gets detached from his, uh, uh, from this glass tube is actually more or less actually uncertain quantities because 
So once uh, if it is actually of the the liquid is actually accumulated near this uh, uh, end of the glass tube, it is actually having the perfect circular shape. However, if it is actually detached from this uh, liquid tube, it is actually having yeah, almost having a yeah, like a spherical kind of shape. That means it doesn't have the exact popular, uh, pa pa I mean, uh, particular uh, circular or any other shape. So that uh, uh, the Lord uh, Lord Rayleigh is actually suggested the relation means there is a correction is actually suggested instead of using the pi. Uh, the Rayleigh is actually instead of using this relation sigma is equal to mg divided by 3.8 times of r instead of 3.14. And this uh, uh, theory is actually experimentally uh, verified by the other two scientists. Scientists called Hawkins and Brown, which is actually experimentally confirmed using the uh, liquid, and this uh, equation is actually holds true for the any liquid. Uh, so this equation is actually um, uh, used to find out the the surface tension of the any liquid using the liquid drop method. For example, suppose if you consider the liquid drop is having the diameter of uh, 2 mm, that means the R is uh, the diameter is taken as uh, 2 mm, and uh, the um, mass of the at the, the weight, I mean the mass of the water, we collected is taken as uh, suppose uh, 2.8 grams of the 100 drops. Suppose if you consider the 100 drops, the weight of the 100 drops is taken as 2.8 grams. And if you want to find out the surface tension of this liquid, then we can easily substitute these values into the uh, the equation, the, the formula, so that uh, uh, before that we are going to find out the mass of the each drop, so that uh, so the mass of the 100 drop is taken as 2.8 grams. So the mass of the each drop is taken as a uh, 2.8 uh, into 10 power minus 3 grams divided by 100. So that you will get uh, 2.8 into 10 power minus 5 kilograms. So this is the mass of the each every each and every drop, and the radius is given as uh, 1 millimeter. Sorry, this is actually 2 millimeter. So it's actually 1 millimeter. That is the radius is given as 1 millimeter. So that we can directly substitute all these values in this equation. Sigma is equal to 2.8 into 10 power minus 5 kilograms into 9.8. The acceleration due to mean the, the gravity 3.8 into 1 into 10 power minus 3, which is actually equal to the 0.07221. One newton per meter. So this is the surface tension of the uh, water, uh, the liquid. So by simply knowing the uh, mass, mass of the water, uh, mass of the drop, and uh, the radius of the orifice, then you can easily calculate the surface tension using this uh, drop weight method. Okay. So that's all for now. So with this, uh, we have actually completed the the fourth unit surface tension. Suppose if you have any doubts in this uh, liquid drop and the liquid drop weight method, then we can discuss it in online class. Okay, thank you.